Why don't jellyfish need to get out of the rain because they're already wet, huh? Okay, that was my attempt at a jellyfish joke. Now let's get serious. Or as serious as one can get when talking about these squishy, fascinating sea creatures we call jellyfish. In today's video, we're going to explore the world of jellyfish, and trust me, it's a world full of surprises. We'll learn about what jellyfish are and what they are made of. Spoiler alert, it's not jelly. We'll discover their unique characteristics and their habitats. Hint, it's not just the ocean. We'll also delve into their diet and let me tell you, they're not picky eaters. Finally, we'll take a look at their life cycle which is as fascinating as it is complex. So, are you ready for an adventure under the sea? Stick around we are diving deep into the world of jellyfish. Imagine being 95% water and still having a personality. That's a jellyfish for you. Now, let's dive into the fascinating world of jellyfish and discover what makes them so unique. Jellyfish, also known as sea jellies, are not actually fish. They are a type of plankton which is a group of animals that cannot swim against the current. At first glance a jellyfish may seem like a simple blob of jelly, but they are complex and intriguing creatures. The main part of a jellyfish is the bell, which is filled with a soft gelatin-like substance that is mostly water. This is why they can blend seamlessly with the water around them. Attached to the bell are long slender structures called tentacles. These tentacles are not just for show, they are equipped with thousands of specialized cells called cnidocytes, which contain tiny harpoons used to capture prey. When a fish or a small creature touches a jellyfish's tentacle, the harpoons shoot out and deliver a venomous sting. Now you might be wondering how do jellyfish eat if they don't have a mouth? Well they do. But it's not like ours. Jellyfish have oral arms that surround their mouths. These arms move food into their mouth and then down into their gastrovascular cavity, which is basically their stomach. But here's a fun fact for you. Jellyfish don't have a separate exit for the food they consume. The same opening that takes in food also expels waste. Talk about a one-stop shop. So, despite being made up of 95% water, jellyfish are fascinating creatures with their own unique structures and abilities. They are more than just a pretty bell and stinging tentacles. So now we know jellyfish are more than just a pretty bell and stinging tentacles. Let's find out where these water-filled creatures live. If you were a jellyfish, where would you hang your hat? Or rather, where would you float your bell? Well, it turns out, jellyfish are quite the globetrotters of the ocean world. These squishy sea creatures can be found in every ocean on planet Earth. From the balmy shallows of tropical seas to the icy depths of the Arctic and Antarctic oceans, there's no corner of the watery world that's off-limits to these fascinating floaters. You see, jellyfish are not strong swimmers. They don't have powerful fins or muscular tails to propel them through the water. Instead, they drift. They go where the ocean currents take them, bobbing along like translucent balloons on a windy day. Picture this. The sun is shining, casting a dappled light on the ocean surface. Just beneath the waves, a jellyfish is floating along, its bell-shaped body pulsating gently. This could be a coastal area, where the water is shallow. Here, jellyfish are often seen in large groups called blooms. It's like a big wobbly jellyfish party. But hold on to your swim caps because we're diving deeper. Far from the sunlit surface in the mysterious realm of the deep sea, jellyfish continue to drift. Here in the chilly, pitch-black waters, they light up like neon signs thanks to a handy trick called bioluminescence. It's all very sci-fi, isn't it? Now imagine a jellyfish in the open ocean far from any coast. The water here is deep and blue and currents swirl in giant loops. This is where the ocean's highways are and jellyfish are the ultimate hitchhikers. They ride these currents like natural conveyor belts, traveling thousands of miles without ever having to paddle a single stroke. So, Jellyfish are world travelers floating along with the ocean currents, but what do these drifting globes eat? Well, stay tuned as we explore the diet of these incredible creatures in the next segment. If you thought jellyfish dine on fish and chips, think again. Jellyfish have a very unique and interesting diet which is very different from what you and I eat. Now, let's dive into the ocean and see what's on the menu for these drifting diners. Jellyfish are carnivorous creatures which means they love to eat meat. But don't worry, they aren't interested in steak or chicken. Instead, these creatures prefer a diet of tiny sea organisms. Their menu is diverse, and it includes plankton, small fish, and sometimes other jellyfish. Yes, you heard that right, jellyfish can be cannibals too. Now how do they catch their prey? They don't have claws or teeth, but they do have something even cooler. Stinging tentacles. 
Each tentacle is lined with thousands of specialized cells called conidocytes. Each conidocyte contains a tiny, coiled-up stinger that's like a microscopic harpoon. When a jellyfish bumps into its prey, these stingers shoot out and inject toxins that paralyze the unsuspecting victim. Then the jellyfish pulls the stunned prey into its mouth or, should I say, its mouth anus. Yes, they eat and expel waste from the same opening. Talk about a one-stop shop. But wait, there's more. Did you know that jellyfish don't actively hunt for their food? They are drifters, floating along with the ocean currents. Their meals come to them. Imagine if your favorite snacks just floated into your room while you're chilling. That's pretty much how a jellyfish lives its life, just drifting and dining. But it's not all easy street for these gelatinous creatures. Because they rely on drifting, their meals are often at the mercy of the ocean currents. Some days it's a feast, other days it might be a famine. So, jellyfish are not picky eaters, they'll eat whatever floats their way. But how does a jellyfish go from being a tiny egg to a floating bell? Well that's a story for our next scene, stay tuned. From an egg to a floating umbrella, the life of a jellyfish is fascinating. It's a journey that takes us through four main stages, each more intriguing than the last. First up, we have the fertilized egg. After a bit of underwater romance, adult jellyfish, also known as medusae, release these eggs into the water. The fertilized eggs then begin their transformation, developing into larvae called planulae. These tiny, oval-shaped newcomers drift through the ocean currents, soaking up the sea's wonders before they settle down on a hard surface. This brings us to stage two, the polyp stage. Once the planula finds a cozy spot, it attaches itself and transforms into a polyp. Now this isn't your garden variety polyp. It resembles a miniature sea anemone anchored by one end with its mouth and tentacles waving hello from the other. This polyp spends its days feeding and growing, perfectly content in its stationary life. Now here's where things get really interesting. The polyp begins to reproduce asexually in a process known as budding. This results in a stack of tiny, disc-like jellyfish called ephyrae. This is the third stage in the life cycle. The ephyrae break off from the parent polyp and start their own adventure in the great blue ocean. Finally we reach the last stage of the journey, the adult medusa stage. Our little ephiri grow and mature into the full-grown free-swimming jellyfish we're familiar with. These medusae float through the ocean, their umbrella-shaped bells pulsating rhythmically as they propel themselves forward. And so, the cycle continues. The adult medusae release their eggs, and the marvel of the jellyfish life cycle begins anew. From tiny eggs to drifting umbrellas, each stage of their life is a testament to the wonders of nature. And that's the amazing life of a jellyfish. But have you been paying attention? It's time to test your jellyfish knowledge. We've journeyed through the life of a jellyfish, now let's see how much you remember. Question 1. Can you tell me what jellyfish are mostly made of? If you said water, you're absolutely right. Remember, they're a whopping 95% water. That's a lot of H2O. Moving on to question 2. Where do jellyfish call home? If you guess the ocean, you've hit the nail on the head. These umbrella-shaped creatures spend their lives drifting in the vast, deep blue sea. And finally, question 3. What's on the menu for our jellyfish friends? If you said plankton and small fish, give yourself a pat on the back. They love to dine on these tiny sea creatures. Well done! You've learned so much about jellyfish today. Remember, the ocean is full of fascinating creatures, and we've only just begun to explore it. Keep learning, keep exploring, and see you next time!